plane, three dollar Loteria scratch ticket from California. And today's subject is talk about luck. Do you make it? Do you have it? Are you born with it? Are some people even unlucky? Um, you know, I've done it a couple of times in this video where I've said, one of the past videos where I, when I've done a scratcher ticket and I say, let's see what the universe says about me or what's my karmic debt. So, how this game works is whatever cards are here, you look for them over here. You get a line, you're in the high yields. So, the one that shows up when you get a party at a dine in restaurant is one of these. If you go to In-N-Out Burger for my subscribers, it'll be this one. Anything else? Free handshake, right? Nice, nice to meet you. Hi. Have a nice day. Anything else? <clears throat> and it'll be 21 and over. But you gotta leave a comment. In the, uh, in the comment section. You know, I've thought about that a lot more. You, know, you see people win twice. I've seen two people win one a ten thousand dollar one, and I think there's one that was a three million dollar one. And I thought, you know, would the guy have won it if he hadn't had the channel? Would he do something for the his subscribers or viewers? You know, but you know, if everyone has their own money, right? Everyone can do what they want. So we got El Gallo, which means the rooster. So let's talk about luck plus a free Spanish lesson. <clears throat> no, uh, luck, man, that's, that's, uh, I'm gonna try to untangle it little by little. I don't like when people call me lucky, especially when they've. It was a here was a high point, right? One time I was overseas. At um. Was it my friends or my associates' beach house? When this boat was parked outside, in the ocean or sea? What is it? Ocean, ocean. And I remember he told me. Remember, he owns the beach house, his boat, and his business, right? <laughs> and for me, my sales, I gotta go door to door, um, door to door, and knocking on doors, um, getting a lot of rejection, no guarantees, no safety net, and um, just getting it done, man. No guaranteed. Um, there was a time where. You know, if you know if you know my tattoo history, you know that I work with some cool shops. Well, one one reputable, one very reputable one. Other ones that are known throughout LA. I think something down here has that one over Orange County. And I've been I've been very comfortable in. Uh, on my journey in. but I've also found like now there's hold on give me give me give me one I tell you what like one time I went to go see a shop oh, how about this there's this one shop that I went to years ago so I'm at a tattoo convention, and I knew about them because I had heard of them um, throughout, um, well, throughout the tattoo circuit. And they work with the big names and some famous, world famous guys have come out of there. And other shops have spawned out of there, different ones. And I go there, and I, I already knew how to tattoo. And I told the owner, yeah, dude, I'm looking for a... Uh, you guys need, need any more artists? And he looks through my work. All right, cool. Uh, we can give you an apprenticeship. 
but um, it's not going to pay seven days a week either. All right, that's cool. Thank you. Real, real smug attitude. I call back, I want to say two years later. This time, not, a, not, a, not at a tattoo convention. This time, I go uh, to this dude's shop. And with some tattoo designs for sale. Oh man, cool man, these are cool man. Give me, give me a minute, I'm almost done tattooing. I'll check them all out. Wait it. Made a few bucks. Then after I sold them, he's like, "Hey dude, you want you want a tattoo here?" He had the same guy that rejected me two years ago. He didn't recognize me. He's like, uh, "If you want to, you can start right now. Like right now, literally right now." I didn't have my tattoo gear on me, or else I would have done it. Extra, extra money right there. And um, some the, uh, and um, yeah, I didn't get, uh, didn't get, um, you know, hired the first time. They should be a toilet scrubber. And then the second time I made a couple bucks and got the job without even asking for it. Now am I lucky? All those years and time I took to make the designs, go to the printer. Someone tried to rob me. I had different shops, tattoo shops while I was drawing. Um, having you know my pistol holstered. Well, I worked on some drawings in bad neighborhoods. Um, people saying, hey, why, why are you calling the cops on that guy that was trying to rob someone else? And I'm like, because the motherfucker was trying to rob one of my customers. And fuck that motherfucker. And, but there are women that are that dumb. Be like, you know, you, you ain't got to be kind to my man like that. I'm thinking, like to the victims, your mom, your little brother, your sister. Let's see if your tune changes. All right, so let's see. But yeah, luck. You see there? When um, that dude, my friend or my friend's associate, said I was lucky I thought about that moment where I got rejected. And eventually I just built a collection of work as you've seen uploaded on this uh, YouTube channel and there's no one there rubbing my back rubbing my belly telling me oh it's okay yo you're gonna make it you're gonna be famous you're gonna people will pay you and you know your jobs will stop coming in and no dude I've had um everyone has uh not everyone, most people have, I believe a like or a pat on the back is equal to networking, <clears throat> networking you within, with their, within their network, giving you a client, buying your products and services. And it's not, man, there are people that um, you know, just don't, don't hook you up. But they think that, um, because they told you, I like your stuff, that's, no, no, dude. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? I know. And if you see the way that I'm trying to explain it, it's because I'm trying to be logical on one end where I just try to re re recount the story. And at the same time, I'm trying to you know, think about how Imagine if I were taking that job as just an apprentice and being an apprentice for one year, not getting paid. And basically being told, hey, is the toilet clean? If, if I was sitting down, hey, go, go sweep the parking lot again. And then I ask you the screen, I say, go sweep it again. And even when I, when I went to overseas, to other cities, other states, other countries, you know, they didn't have a network 
Let's it in, you know. Come on in and you know, we'll treat you good or hook you up. Man. No, do none of that, man. Oh man, this one. Let's just look at everything here, right? So either these two cards. What we have two left, right? So one, two. It could be one, one for here, one for here, one for there. Or these two. Let's see what happens. Ooh, we draw Aranya. Uh oh. Okay, so we're either gonna So now this this ticket here has got me it's got me lifted. Make a body slam me too. Now I gotta make one of them. But let's see. Let's see. Yeah, that's it, man. So el pájaro looks like el cotorro. So that means the bird. I mean, that means the parakeet. The parrot. But yeah, it's not the parrot. Let's make sure I don't have any of these first. So no, el barril. Over here. But yeah, dude, um, I think uh, this luck. Yeah, this is the universe telling me. Hey, dude, um, go fish. Stick to your day job. Go knock on some more doors. Not the El Violoncello. Even though I lost right now, you know, it's got to say, hey, that's what the universe saith. So you got to roll with it. And uh, again, they took that hit. And I go back and say, give me all of them. I want to win. If I look at it, will it um, magically reassemble these cards? No. But um, I really behind it. That this was a hundred dollar ticket. I think the most expensive ones that I've seen and where I've gone have been the thirty dollar ones. But yeah, no, I'm cool with three bucks. Crapshoot. Oh, and also the Iowa lottery. It was sued by some players and, and they won. Because it was uh, rigged, not the scratcher, but the, the one with the number drawings. So just, uh, no, that's why I only play the scratchers, because prize of players can be redeemed by participating in lottery leagues. Six hundred is not the claim over. And so another thing, if you look at the, go to the California Lottery website, click there, and it'll show you, um, one person only. Alright, it's funny, it says, we filled this out, but you know, all the entries are not accepted. I'm thinking, so so what do I do? I just, um, it's about telekinesis. But yeah, man, there it is, man. You know, what am I willing to gamble? You know, when I buy these tickets, I say, oh, bye-bye, three bucks. Let's see if you come back. And in this case, in this case I did it. So here we are. But yeah, if I would have bought the $30 one, I would have been like, what? Why me? And so I'm getting mixed up with anything else.
off and let's fold it up. Put it in the bin. That's it for now.